So you might be in a situation where for some reason you're getting this little pop-up all across the board where it says, you know, basically Safari can't install this particular profile. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons, whether it's an error that basically looks something like this that says, you know, Safari can't, I don't even know what's going on with iOS 18 right now. If it's an error that looks something like this or whatever the case is, there's a lot of problems that can basically arise when you're trying to basically use or install a particular profile. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that this could be just like a random type of pop-up. So if you're just going through and if you're just using Safari and you're not trying to install anything, well, then just click OK, just exit out of this. You might just want to exit out of this particular thing in general and then go back into a different browser and that may end up fixing the problem for you. Now, if every time you're opening up Safari, it's telling you that it can't install the profile and it's not allowing you to do anything else, what you can also do is you can make your way over to your settings application of your iPhone you want to scroll down until you see your Safari options. For iOS 18 users, you click on apps, then you'll find Safari down here. And what you want to do is you want to go and tap onto Safari. And all you're going to want to do here is you want to go and find the option which allows you to clear history and website data. So tap into here, click on clear history and website data, and you can choose whether you want to close all tabs, you want to choose whatever you want to. And that is an option that you can basically have to kind of, you know, fix this issue that you may be running into here. It's a very simple fix, and that's another thing you can do as well. Now, if you're doing that and that's still not working, if it's a profile that you're trying to install, a lot of profiles aren't really working anymore nowadays because there's just not that many people developing them. So you may be installing an older profile. You can try installing the latest one. You can also try updating your phone, see if that ends up fixing the problem too. So you can make your way over to your iPhone settings, scroll down into general, scroll into software update, and you can try updating your phone and see if that ends up fixing the problem too. So... Those are the main ways to kind of fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.